in the previous lecture we verified the operation of XOR gate in this lecture we are going to verify the operation of XNOR gate now XNOR is the opposite of XOR gate or the complement of XOR gate so whatever output we are getting in XOR gate will get the complement of that here that is if all inputs are same then output will be high in XOR gate we are getting exactly opposite if all inputs were same output was low now in XNOR gate we are getting high output if all inputs are same so if both inputs are 0 output will be high if both inputs are 1 output will be high if output is 0 it means that the inputs are different okay so here it is 0 1 1 0 and we are getting 0 logic 0 as the output so let's verify this XNOR operation now let me click on this XOR go to properties click on this replace and let me type here XNOR so again we can see different gate options are available for XNOR also we are going to need this XNOR 2 input let me click on this ok and our XOR gate has been replaced by XNOR gate let's run and verify the operation ok so both inputs are 1 you can see both inputs are 1 then output is high here also for 0 1 output is 0 for 1 0 output is 0 for 0 0 output is high so this is how our XNOR gate works that's it for this lecture and we'll meet in the next lecture thank you